All right, this is Habakkuk 3 and 5. Before him when pestilence and plague followed at his heels. Yeah, because they don't know where this stuff is popping up at. It just keep popping up. All we know is that the, well, whatever happens, the most high, you know, he got evil on his left hand and he got righteousness on his right hand side. All praise to the most high, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Rock of thy how, but rock of thy how shah, but rock of thy how, but rock of thy how shah. All right, Yasharala, let's get into it. Researchers think hundreds of people in U.S. have new UK coronavirus strain. <coughs> All praises. Researchers studying the new UK strain of the coronavirus think it likely arrived in the U.S. in mid November and that many people in the United States could already be infected. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably in hundreds of people by now. Say Michael Warby, head of the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at the University of Arizona. See, they saying that they think that hundreds of people already got it, so it, it could be thousands. It's right possible it arrived multiple times in multiple places. And, you know, here it is, we reading it, and, you know, YouTube would get mad and take it down. And, and say it's fake information. You know, UK experts are highly confident that a new coronavirus variant is more contagious. Here's what that means. Imagine the amount of infected travelers leaving London that's been increasing exponentially, said Trevor Bedford, associate professor in the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Division of the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. British scientists have traced the new strains earlier as known appearance back to September 20th, so they already know about it in Kent, a county southeast of London. And I did a report about six months ago. Um, I forgot the guy's name. I might put it back up. He, he said that um, you know, that they knew about the uh, strain 20 and 21. Warbley and Bedford said they estimate the virus would have arrived in the U.S. in mid-November. Both scientists, as well as others around the world, have scoured genetic sequences of coronavirus in the United States to see if any match up with the U.K. variant. So far, they haven't found any, but they say that's likely because the U.S. surveillance system isn't catching them. Health officials agree. You really need to assume that it's here already, and certainly it's not the dominant strain but I would not be surprised at all if it's already here. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Disease said Tuesday, it could be in the United States and we might not have yet detected it. Assistant Secretary for Health Admiral Brett Greyer said Monday, the UK coronavirus variant has not been identified through sequencing efforts in the United States. The U.S. Census for Disease Control and Prevention said in a scientific brief posted on its website Tuesday. However, it says only about 51,000 of 17 million U.S. cases it has tallied have been sequenced, less than half a percent. <clears throat> States dealing with high numbers of coronavirus cases are imposed no extending health orders. And I, I just listened to a Jake from uh, Stan the Spirit, and um, yeah, he showed how you know they running out of food, got lines all around the corners, all up and down the blocks. You know, people, food being snatched out of people trolleys, which is a shopping cart, but they call them trolleys. You know, so yeah, this is you know it's causing a panic. <clears throat> Given the small fraction of U.S. infections that have been sequenced, the variant could already be in the United States without having been detected, the CDC said. To detect new mutant mutations of a virus, samples are gathered from infected patients and down to go genetic sequencing. Looking at the order of the letters in this genetic code for anything new. In the U.S., only a relatively small number of samples go through this process. Since November 15th, about the time the UK variant might have arrived in the US, genetic sequencing has been done on viruses found in about 300 people in the US and about 9,000 in the UK, Warby said. We're flying blind, Warby said. Maybe some other similarly interesting variant is sweeping up with high frequency, but we're just not seeing it. On its website, the CDC notes that. Of about 275,000 full genome sequences and public databases, 51,000 are from the United States. 
121,000 are from the UK. The difference is especially striking considering how many more infections have been confirmed in the US. Over 18 million compared with over 2.1 million in the UK. Health officials say research so far shows the changes do appear to make the virus more transmissible, but it doesn't appear that the variant causes more severe disease. They also say at this point it looks like the vaccine will still work against the UK variant. Last month, the CDC launched a strain surveillance program where states will send in at least 10 samples by weekly for analysis. The agency expects to have the program fully implemented in January. All right, yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah this is Ezekiel 5 and 17. So I will send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee. And pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Because, see, they think they're going to come up with these vaccines. They're going to, um, you know, do all this different stuff. They're going to use all this tech. But, no, if, if the Most High going to get you, he's going to get you. You know, he's, he's the king of terrors. And, you know, he control all things. You know? So, um, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, so here goes some words of encouragement for those who believe, even for myself. Um, this Psalms 91 through 16. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Yes, some Jake took the uh, vaccine and it's like his, his foot then swelled up and he got particles falling out of his feet you know it looked like more jealous than me For, forgive me let me keep going with this uh, scripture surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thy trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thy shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the earth that fly by day nor for the pestilent that walk in the darkness, for the, the destruction that wasteth at noonday. You know, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Alright. Thou shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. Shall thou trample on the feet? Because he has set thy love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. Alright. There you go. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. And on to the next one. Shalom.